I'm sure you know why you're here. Um, making some kiss blocks. So kiss blocks, if you don't know what they are, which I'm assuming you do because you're here, they're kind of necessary when using a press to get um, a desired thickness. If you, if you don't care about what thickness your, uh, your end product is, then kiss blocks probably aren't for you. But, uh, as you know, I just got a new 25 ton press. It's the Clark Iron. I figured out a good system for the 12 ton uh, coal iron press, but it took me a few minutes to figure out something that I thought was going to work really well on the uh, Clark Iron 25 ton. So I love magnets. I think that they just make the world a little bit easier and at the same time they make things a little more difficult. But anyway, uh, with, with the, uh, the coal iron 12 ton, the magnets made things pretty easy. And I'm just going to finish this up really quick and then I'll kind of show you what I did. And you might be wondering what's going on here. So I like the Clark iron really well, but, uh, I feel like the, uh, the size they have for the flat dies is a little large for when you're drawing out a billet. So I'm just making myself some skinnier ones and hope that uh, the surface that it's hitting will actually be a little more efficient. And these are some little magnets that I have. I just have to break these open and I have these little round magnets. And then uh, just mix myself up some JB Weld. I'm gonna pop these in the hole right there. Pop this one in the hole. So I just used my mill to make the holes. You can use a drill press, no problem. And then I put some JB Weld in here. And I'm gonna fill it in completely because these holes are a little deeper than the magnets because I don't want the press smashing the magnets. Um, it just breaks them, then they become less effective. So anyway, this just has to cure up. And then I'm gonna weld these to the plates and then um, let's go over here. I'll show you kind of what I got going on here. So here's what I was talking about. So don't get me wrong, love these. They're gonna be good for a lot of things but I found that when I'm drawing out my Damascus, um, when it gets thinner, these really don't do much of anything except straighten things out. So I'm gonna go with a thinner piece and then uh, hopefully that works a little better. So here's my idea on the kiss block system on the, uh, on the Clark Iron 25 ton. So he uses an uh, inch and a half thickness for the materials same thing with same thing with these guys right here inch and a half round so it kind of worked out really well for me and I happen to have some inch and a half square bar lying around uh, from a project I did years ago so all I did was I cut some inch wide pieces I put them on my mill and I um, cut out a hole slightly larger than the magnets that I have. And then I just spot welded them to each side. And then I also did the same with the, with, with the top plate here, but I didn't do the holes for the magnets. Pretty unnecessary. Actually, it would probably make this not work so well. So what this does is with the, these being the same height as the uh, actual die, all you've got to do is if you want some 3 16th inch material, then all you got to do is plop it on there. And when the top comes down,
Now you've got a 3 16 inch gap that it's going to stop at. And if you want to probably be safe and turn that off. And then if you want a half inch, throw your half inch on here like that, kick it back on, down you go. Now you've got a half inch. And then basically just goes for everything. Want an inch and a half, which is what I do my width, the width of my billets at. There you go. If you want an inch, there you go. If you want two inches, there you go. The magnet's gonna hold these on here. Um, they're not gonna go anywhere. And you're pretty much set. Now, when you wanna draw things out, you pull that out, you put the drawing dies on there, lock it down, same exact thing. So, so basically with the set I'm doing now, I'm just extending this out so that I just don't have a gap. It's gonna be the same thing. I'll just have like a little bit extra space to use and then um, I'll still have enough space that I can put my thickness on there and then we're good. So let's go over here and I'll show you what I did with the 12 ton. So with the 12 ton, uh, same I did, different execution because you have much less space here and then you've also got their, uh, their die system with the, the, the screws or the bolts right here. So you only have three inches um, and then there's not a, not a lot of space. I mean, now that I've got the idea with the Clark iron, if I wanted to, I could weld some pieces on here, right here, but the problem is Unlike with the Clark iron, with this being a certain thickness, the, uh, the drawing dies are, are not the same height. They're actually taller. They're not too different. There's our height there. Or yeah, see, so they're taller. So you've got about, um, I don't know, it's like an eighth of an inch different difference. So you can't use the same size block for both sets of dies like you can with the Clark iron. Um, and then if there was enough space here, you could, you know, weld them onto the side of this, the side of this, and then you wouldn't have to worry about it, but there's just not the space. So anyway, what I did was I made these uh, kiss blocks right here which uh, I made a, a length for the rounding and I made a length for the um, flat dies. So all I did was, so I used the magnets on these as well to help keep them in place. But then all I did, I would just put them right inside of this little channel here. So without the magnet, this I kind of learned the hard way. Um, luckily nothing was damaged or nobody got hurt is um, they have their little wear plate that hangs down off of the side so if your stuff falls too far to the outside or too far to the inside you're gonna clip this and it's loud and it's scary so you try to stay away from that so with these in here and you can see with the magnet they're in there pretty good you can obviously remove them then you have to have smaller pieces that you just pop inside of here and then this is gonna this top plate's gonna hit this uh, kiss block and then it's gonna stop and it's gonna give you the distance you need so this is what I found works best for me um, you know you can do whatever thickness you want add all these different pieces that I would throw in there little skinny ones as well but anyway uh, this is what worked for good for me um, you definitely want to have one on each side so that this comes down even. Um, if you have one on this side and not on that side, then it'll twist and then all of a sudden your material will be a triangle. So now this thing might make a little more sense. So I've got the bottom die and then the top die and then of course be smashing like that. Then I can put my little 
thickness gauges, my thickness, my steel, whatever you want to call them in there. And um, good to go. So was trying to make this quick. It might be longer than I really wanted it to be, but even if you don't have the Clark iron or the coal iron, um, the press that you have most likely has some similar features. And with this idea, hopefully it helps you figure out what you need for your press to make it work in a similar fashion. Like I said, magnets make this so much better because it keeps your thickness material where it needs to be instead of slipping off and then, you know, possibly screwing up your material or scaring the, the poop out of yourself. Anyway, hope this helps. Appreciate the support as usual. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and, um, you know, I'll reply and give whatever help I can offer. Anyway, see you in the next one.